Bless up, bless up, bless up. This is Mr. Vegas, otherwise known as King Sobe. Now, I've been wanting to speak on this issue for the past few days, but I chose to gather more information so I could speak on the matter in a more cogent manner. But before I do so, I would like to ask a question. Am I to believe that death or going to prison is the only way a woman can escape abuse in Jamaica? Now, many of you may have seen a video circulating where a man was seen in the video a man is seen in the video beating a woman mercilessly. At one point, a man even used a stool to inflict blows on the woman. It is alleged that this man is a member of parliament for Westmoreland. And he is a representative of the Jamaica Labour Party. According to the police report, he was not charged with what we saw with a crime. Because the woman failed to continue with the matter. Now we have to ask ourselves the questions. Why she did not want to continue with the matter? Was it out of fear? Or are women just fed up or have lost faith in the justice system? Am I to accept that our society is so morally decayed that a bishop for a church, Bishop O'Neill Christopher Russell would make a statement like, why should he resign? I don't like the fact that he put his hand on a woman. It's wrong, but he was elected by the people and will not resign. Is this normal? Is this acceptable? And if the bishop is correct that he was elected by the people, Westmoreland, what are you doing about it? You see, many of our women may be afraid to come forward or to further the matter because they have tried so many times to get help. But the system has failed them. I saw a report in the Jamaica Gleaner. And something caught my eyes in the report. The person, the female that the Gleaner interviewed. She said, even after restraining order. The man is still treating her the same way. Some of the comments under the post is indeed sad. Nikisha said, listen, this is a problem that Jamaican justice system need to fix immediately. You go to the station to report stalking obsession and some police not even take your statement, much less talk to the perpetrator. I went to do a protection order and the gentleman at the court didn't even file it because according to him, baby mother and father can't leave and him think we gonna make up. I go station every other day and they did nothing until I was stabbed six times. Janetta said, I can relate to the story too. I was even attacked and beaten up after all of this restraining order police report court multiple times for him breaching the protection order. Judge personally saw him following me one day after court. So much has happened after that. So I stopped reporting it to the police because if it's not death, none of what happened above matters to the police court or anyone else except you. Another person said, I am going through a similar ordeal with someone who I was not even in a relationship with. He has made several threats against me, invaded my home, and damaged two bedroom windows. The last time I took him before the courts, he was declared schizophrenic. He probably he probably boasts about it and continues to make threats against me. Now, Mr. Andrew Oldness, you were elected by the people in a landslide victory. And you have the votes that can make changes. To the justice system to protect our women. It's time for you to look at the system in the United States 
and I believe England. Where a woman does not need to follow up or continue with the matter. Or even press charges if she is indeed abused. If an investigation is done or it is visible by doctors or trained people that she was abused. She should not be left out there to be killed because she did not follow up. It's time for you, Mr. Wilness, and your cabinet and members of the People's National Party, the People's National Party, to come together and fix the system. The precedent that we are setting for our youths is that it is okay. When someone of such statue, if it is indeed a member of parliament, gets away with this, it's going to empower abusers. It's time for us to deal with this matter in an aggressive manner. The people of Westmoreland, this is not acceptable. It's time for you to stand up against this type of behavior, especially by people who are supposed to be upholding morals. Big up on yourself. Ladies, I know sometimes you put out your best. And you look your best out there. But many of you are in prison. Many of you are dying on the inside. You're my sister for life. And I want to big up my brothers who know that this type of behavior is not acceptable. So one love, I could do better. And I could see some more outrage against these types. <laughs> With that person, is a politician, an artist, whosoever, a handcart man, it is wrong to treat our sisters this way. Big up.